Today, I'm going to walk you through how I use After Effects to make animated subtitles automatically. They look something like this. Without precise calculations, we'd fly right through a star or bounce too close to a supernova and then it injured trip real quick, wouldn't it? First, let's look at how I used to do this manually. First, I load my movie clip into a composition in After Effects. Here's what that looks like. Without precise calculations, we'd fly right through a star or bounce too close to a supernova and then it injured trip real quick, wouldn't it? Then I create a new text layer and copy and paste the message into the layer. Then I can adjust the color and the position and everything just like you normally would with any text layer. Now if we play it, it just sits there statically. Without precise calculations, we'd fly right through a star or bounce too close to a supernova and then it injured trip real quick, wouldn't it? So now we want to animate it. First, I make sure the playhead is at the beginning of the timeline. I open up our text layer. Then I open up the text section and I click on animate and select opacity. It creates a new animation with a range selector and a new opacity parameter. I set this new opacity to zero, which hides the text. If I open the range selector, we can see start and end. Start indicates how much of the text should be revealed. So I make sure start is set to zero. Then I animate the field so it puts a keyframe at the beginning of my timeline. Then I move to the end of my clip and I set start to be 100. So now it looks like this. Without precise calculations, we'd fly right through a star or bounce too close to a supernova and then it injured trip real quick, wouldn't it? So that's not what we want. We don't want the words to be revealed in a smooth transition. We want each word to appear as it's being said. So I go to my range selector and open up advanced. I change the units to index. And I'm going to change based on to words. So now we'll animate individual words with each keyframe. So I move the timeline forward and set it to one. So now the first word appears. Then I move the timeline forward a bit more and create a keyframe for two. And then I keep doing that over and over again, setting a new keyframe for each new word. Now you can see that it's fading up one word and then the next word. However, I don't really want it to fade up gradually. I want them to appear instantly. So what I can do is select these keyframes, then go to the graph editor and see that currently we are interpolating each keyframe linearly, but we really want them to look like jagged steps. So we come down here and click on hold keyframes and that makes them look jagged. So the values will jump from one value to the next. So now when I play it, we can see each word pop up immediately. So I can add a new keyframe for each new word and estimate when each keyframe should be. This won't be very accurate, but I just need to lay down the rough foundation of what this animation is going to look like. And this takes forever. This is a laborious task. So now, let's take a look at it. Without precise calculations, we'd fly right through a star or bounce too close to a supernova and then it injured trip real quick, wouldn't it? So that doesn't seem to sync up too well, but at least it gets us up and running. We select the text layer, hit U to just reveal the keyframes, and then we select the movie clip and hit L twice in order to open up the waveform of the audio. Now I can sort of see where each word starts and ends and fine tune the location of each of my keyframes. However, this is a very manual process, and I said I was going to show you how to automate this. After Effects supports JavaScript and has an entire API that you can programmatically call in order to perform the same task that you would do in the After Effects application. Here is a script I wrote to automate my process. First, I create a dialog in order to collect two pieces of information from the user, the message you want to display, as well as the duration that the message is spoken. Once I have that information, I can interpolate how much time each word should take based on how long the word is. It's not great, but it sets a good foundation for fine tuning. I then go through and create a text layer with the given text and I create all of the properties we just created manually. The animator, the opacity, the range selector, the based on, the units. Then we split the message up into words and loop through each word, setting a new keyframe with the hold interpolation so that the duration of the word is proportional to its number of characters. So let's start over from the beginning with just the movie clip and try this again with the script. Make sure to have the timeline window selected and set the playhead to the beginning of the speaking. I go up to the file menu, then go down to scripts, then run script file. Then I select my script file. It asks for my message and duration. So I copy and paste my message into the text box and I enter a duration of about four seconds. I hit okay and it creates a new text layer with all of the keyframes roughly laid out where they should be. Now I can make adjustments to the text like formatting and size and position. Let's play it. Without precise calculations, we'd fly right through a star or bounce too close to a supernova and then it injured trip real quick, wouldn't it? Again, the sync isn't the greatest, but it does a lot of the tedious work for me. Now I can spend my time fine tuning it to get it just right. Again, this automation isn't perfect, but it gets me 80% of the way there, which is convenient, especially if you're doing several of these in a video. It's a ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Check out the script for yourself. There's a link in the description. And let me know if there's an easier way of doing this.